what was on my heart to talk about today? I'm trying to make this where it, every workshop builds, but that they are kind of full and complete on their own. And the last couple of workshops, I really focus on building your awareness and just becoming aware of the thoughts that you have, the choices that you make, the people that you surround yourself with, the way that you feel about your environment and the people that you interact with. And what I thought that I would kind of transition into or kind of build on today is really befriending the mind. The mind is not our friend. It's not here to help you have an ab abundant, amazing, thriving life. The mind is just an organism. It doesn't care about you any more than your heart cares about you or your lungs care about you or your kidney cares about you. It's just an organ and it just it's serving a purpose and it has a function. In our society, a majority of the world, what has happened is that we have confused our minds for having more responsibility over our lives than what it really, really has. And if we become aware of what the role of the mind is and what its function is, then we can stop relinquishing it jobs that's not any of its business, and we can kind of start working collaboratively instead of against each other. I personify a lot of things, and so that helps me to kind of build these little characters. So I kind of got my mind hanging out, and I got my heart hanging out, and, and to me, just really looking at building a relationship with those parts of myself is what I focus on doing. So the mind, it, it's not our friend. It's, it's not in most people's lives. If you're, if you're not having a thriving, abundant, really blissful life, then chances are you're not getting along with your mind too well. And a way to really test it, if anybody's sitting there thinking like, well, I'm pretty sure my mind likes me, <laughs> my mind keeps me safe, it keeps me out of trouble, it does this or that for me. If you think about how your mind talks to you and you think about your self-talk, I don't know about y'all, but for myself, my self-talk can be a little judgmental. It can hold me to standards that I don't hold to other people to. It can expect things from me that I would never expect from another person. And if I make a mistake or um, something goes off course or I trip over something or spill something or make a decision that ends up hurting myself or somebody around me, my mind really beats me up. It's really not very forgiving. And it's very interesting when I started paying attention to how my mind treats me versus how my mind treats other people. And when I started realizing and stepping outside myself, if, if, if someone was to come to me and say or do the things that I'm beating myself up over, how would I react to the other person? Well, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't think that they were stupid just because they accidentally knocked over a glass of water. I would just say, oh, it's an accident. It's water. It's no big deal. Let's clean it up. But whenever I knock over a glass of water, it's like, oh, what's wrong with you? Or you're so stupid. You can't get anything right. Now you made this big mess, and now it's going to throw up the whole day. And, you know, it can just really become this big escalated situation. But if somebody else does it, I don't have that reaction. And I thought, well, how curious. And I found myself also in my coaching and just talking to my friends in everyday life when they would come to me and be upset or worried about something or really down on themselves. I would say, well, well what would you say to your best friend? If your best friend came to you and said, I am so frustrated with myself. I have been working so hard to do this one thing and I just can't figure it out and I feel like I can't do anything right and you know I'm so frustrated I'm so upset and I'm never going to get what I want and if, if a friend came to me and said that I would be like whatever girlfriend you are amazing you are awesome look at all these things that you do you are a fantastic mom you're a great friend look at all these examples of when you did something great and I would try to build them up so why not do that for ourselves and why not have that same compassion with ourselves? It was a really interesting dynamic because on one side, my mind's telling me that I'm not smart or capable or um, pretty enough or tall enough or thin enough or whatever. And then on the other side, my mind's telling me that I'm, I'm better than other people and I'm smarter than that guy or I would have done that way better. So I have this really interesting like push-pull going on in my mind. It's like... I think I'm like the most amazing and most horrible person at the same time. So it made me become aware of, of this like hypocrisy that was going on inside my mind and this battle going back and forth inside my mind. And it made me realize just as much as 
sometimes I can get caught into the negative stories about myself or about the world around me or the environment around me, I also have this other side too. And I could look at it from a different angle. And a lot of times it took me like taking me out of the picture. Like I said, like visualizing, okay, if, if I didn't follow through on something and I'm embarrassed to show up and, and report to my accountability group that I didn't do something, then I put myself into the shoes of, okay, well, what if it was somebody else in my accountability group and they came to the call and they hadn't followed through? How would I feel about that? And then I was able to make judgments and decisions for myself the same way that other people would do for me. Or I could be the one to just initially say, it's okay that I messed up because I know you're not going to judge me. And, of course, people look back at me and are like, well, of course we're not going to judge you over that. We think you're awesome. So becoming aware of that inner dialogue and what thoughts were going through my head about myself really expanded my awareness of, of all my interactions in the world and all of my relationships. So how do you deal?